Welcome back. Glad that you are here. I am starting with a series of short tutorials that aim to solve some peculiar complex and small problems that you might face in your real world projects when you are working for an organization or working as a freelancer. Before jumping to what is multi scroller problem and what is the solution to it, this series is not just about me coming up with problem statements and solutions. You also can participate in this by giving me problem statements and I will give it a shot and give you a solution. I don't guarantee that I will give you the solution 100% of the times, but I will surely give it a try. With that, let's get started and do watch this short tutorial till end and make sure to like this tutorial and subscribe. Also help in spreading the word by sharing across various forums and your friends. This video is sponsored by App Circle. Build your apps, distribute it to testers and upload it to app stores all automatically with quick and easy setup. You can find one month free coupon code and link in the description box. So what is the problem statement here? You all know how to create a horizontal scrollable list. You can do it by using list view or a row wrapped in single child scroll view with axis dot horizontal direction. As a result, when you drag left or right on this widget, you will see the items scrolling. And how do you add a second one just below this? Easy, right? Just repeat the code and put these in column. This time though, I will reverse the order of countries. And you will see something like this. So that's no brainer. You can now scroll these two scroll views individually. So what is the difficulty here? What we want to change in this? Well, here is the requirement. On scrolling any one of them, the other one should also scroll. To elaborate, if I drag the first list to left, the other one should also move to left and the same applies to when I drag one list to right, something like this. Let's see what is the intermediate solution to this problem. Okay, now that we know what we have to achieve, how do we do it? Any thoughts? First thing that comes to my mind is scroll controller. A scroll controller keeps track of scroll position of the scrolling widget. Let's try to utilize this information. Attach scroll controller to both the scroll views and add a listener to first scroll controller. On callback of first scroll controller, I will scroll the second scroll view by changing second scroll controller's offset. Let's see this by code, where we will make the stateless widget a stateful widget and create two scroll controllers and attach them to each one of the single child scroll view. With this code, there will be no functionality change, but with these controllers we can play. Let's add a listener to first controller in the init state method. Here we are animating the scroll controller 2 to the scroll controller 1's offset with some minimal delay and animation curve. Now rerun the app and see the output. Well, that was fun, right? So now we can add one more controller for scroll controller 2 this time that will animate the scroll controller once offset when the second scroll view scrolls. But hey, we are getting in a loop, aren't we? And if that's not right, there is one more problem with this try. What if we have two, three more scroll views below these two? How many scroll controllers are we gonna use in that situation? Will it be performant? We all know the answer. No, this is not the right way at all. How would you react if I say you don't need stateful widget and scroll controller? I mean, to relate these two or three scroll views with each other, you don't need scroll controller at all. Yes, you have heard it right and now is the time to digest it. Back to the basic code, we have two single child scroll views in a column. The output of this is these two scroll views are scrolling individually. Remove the two single child scroll views and wrap column with single child scroll view. Yes, that's it. Run this and you have the desired output. Our only one single child scroll view is responsible for making two rows scroll together. Don't feel cheated with this solution please. And believe me, I didn't know until this video that it is that simple. 
I started with a complex solution to explain to you, but midway this video, I realized that this is not the difficult as I made it before. This is what happens when you think too complex. With this, I close this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in future, many more like these are in the list. So make sure to like, share this video and subscribe the channel and notifications on. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.